Hello, 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 hello. How are you today? Today is Friday and your body knows. <laughs> okay, so welcome everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you today, eh? You're good? Happy to see you, right? Okay, uh, I'm going to start making the presentation, right? Let me see. Okay. We are going to show you the manual, right? The manual. Page 33. Huh? Sorry, this is not the manual. Page 33, right? Okay, let me see. Okay, but before to go to, uh, yes, page 33, excuse me, I have a problem here. Yes, page 33, right? Good. Now, we're going to check this uh, agenda for uh, Mrs. Robles. Mrs. Robles is, look like an engineer, right? Okay, so what are the, the activities uh, for Mrs. Robles? This is the agenda for Mrs. Robler, right? And uh, we have at 7.15, right? At 7.15, meeting with the marketing department, she said, right? Welcome to William and his baby. Hello. <laughs> nice. Remember, I, I, I love to have babies in my class, right? What is the name of your song, William? Hello. What is the what is the name of your song, William? Uh, Johan Alessandro. Johan, okay. Hello, Johan. Johan. Hello, hello. How are you? How are you, Johan? Johan. Hey, hey. <laughs> you're happy, eh? Happy, happy. If you're happy. And you know it, let, clap your hand. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hand. If you're happy and you know it, and you know it, and you know it clap your hand. It's a pleasure, Johan. Goodbye. 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 Okay, ya se fija, verdad que bueno. Okay, welcome. Welcome to Johan. Good. Thank you. So, let's continue, right? At 8.30, we have a video call with the supervisor, right, from West Company. 9 p.m., right, we have, well, 9 a.m., I suppose, sorry. Workshop, you know, uh, capacitación, right? Workshop. Ah, oh, we have two babies, William. Congratulations, right? The girl and the boy. Nice. Nice. Congratulations. Right? Work, workshop to the research and development. Development Department, you know, Departamento de Investigación y Desarrollo, right? Research and Development Development Department to improve, you know, mejorar, right? To improve the manufacturing process. Workshop launch. Yumi Yumi, right? It's necessary the Yumi Yumi. Uh, 12 workshops launch, right? Noon. Second part of the workshop and five 55 or 5 to 6, send tomorrow's schedule, right? Enviar el horario de mañana, right? To Miss Lopez. Miss Lopez is the new secretary, right? And then leave. Go, go home, right? Go home. These are the activities Mrs. Robles has to do, right? This is her agenda. This is her agenda, right? Okay, let me see. Uh, I have some message. Uh, 
Huh. Elsa. Listener. Eh, René Alexi. Ok, René Alexi. I understand. En Brenda, teacher, eh, voy en tráfico. Ok, very good, Brenda. I understand, no problem. Good. Tell me when you get home, right? Uh, René Alexi, right? Ah, uh, tell me when the when the rain is over. Me, me cuenta cuando termine la tormenta, René Alexi. En Brenda me, me avisa cuando llegue a casa, right? Y Elsa me, me avisa cuando se recupera. No, no, tiene que descansar, Elsa. El fin de semana, primero Dios, ¿ok? A tomar sopita y limonada fuerte ahí, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, so, these are the activities for Mrs. Robert. Right? Meeting with the marketing department, video call, workshop to the research and develop, development department, sorry. Uh, the launch, the second part of the workshop, and then send tomorrow's schedule to Mrs. Lopez, the new secretary, and then leave. Salir, abandonar ya. Okay. I have some question, right? Let me reduce a little bit this. What time is the video call? What time is the video call for the West Company? What time is the video call, class? Help me, please, volunteers. Hello, hello. What time is the video call? Eh, sería a uh, half past eight. At half past eight or eight thirty, right? Okay. Half, uh, I will copy. Well, uh, well, I cannot copy because I will move the screen, right? Voy a mover la pantalla. So, but it's eight thirty, right? Eight thirty or like uh, William said, right? Uh, half past, half past eight, right? Half past eight. Okay, good. I have some message in the group. Give me a second. So let's go to the second question. What time does the workshop with the? What time? Does the workshop with the research department start? What time does the workshop with the research department start? René, es, está lloviendo. María René, estaré de oyente. María René, right? Okay, give me a second. Vamos a ver en lo que me respondemos, respondemos la pregunta. Nine o'clock. At nine o'clock. Yes. It's correct, right? Nine o'clock, right? Okay. Very good. Uh, give me a second. Brenda, estaré, está en el tráfico, okay. Okay, very good. And I have two other messages. Eh, Jessica, Jessica está de oyente también. Jessica Perez. Okay, I understand, I understand. And we have the answer of eh, Elsa, right? Elsa says that the, the video call, the video call is at 8.30, right? Correct, Elsa. And William already said that, right? That is the, the video call is at 8.30. And the time of the workshop with the research department is it's a start at nine o'clock, right? Nine o'clock. Uh, Ada, no, no yet. Todavía no he pasado el listado, Ada. Todavía no he pasado la asistencia. Tranquilita, ya lo voy a pasar. <laughs> okay. And let's go to the question number three. The question number three says, what time does the company close? Ah, this is a very difficult question. 
What time does the company close? ¿A qué hora cierra la compañía? Uh -huh. It's a very difficult question, but Close what time? At five fifty-five. Mm, almost, almost, Jessica, Carolina, almost, casi, casi le pega. <laughs> what time does the company close? Carolina. Jessica Carolina casi no, nos en Ingrid también va a estar de oyente, right? Okay. Anybody else? Okay, five five. 5.55 say sends tomorrow's schedule, right? So it takes like about five minutes to send the schedule, right, to the new secretary. So what time the company closes? What time does the company close? I repeat, Jessica Carolina almost, casi nos adivinas. Por unos minutitos nos adivina ahí, casi. Six o'clock. Six o'clock, <laughs> yes. At six o'clock, who said that? Erenia, no. Who said six. that? Yes, okay, thank you, Erenia. Yes, six o'clock, because at 5.55, eh, sending the, the email, right? Sending eh, the schedule to the secretary. And at six, they close the company, go home, right? Go home. Nice. Six o'clock, say Elsa. Yes, correct, Elsa. Totally right. At six o'clock, right? Good. Let's continue, right? Yesterday, we were learning about how to say the time, the clock time, right? Example, we say, what time is it? It's 1.08. What time does the meeting start? It starts at 11 o'clock. Right? What time do you arrive at work? At about 8.48 a.m. And what time do employees leave? Usually around 7 or 7.30, right? Okay, now we're going to make this exercise. Complete saying what time do. Or what time does, right? Number one. Uh, but before to go to this exercise, I will take the attendance. Ready? Eh, los que ya se, los que ya se um, reportaron de oyentes eh, ya tienen la asistencia. Elsa, René Alexi, Brenda, Ingrid, Jessica Pérez, and María René. Uh, I'm, I'm being honest, right? Les soy honesto, ¿verdad? No me gusta tener tantos oyentes, pero, pero yo sé que por necesidad. Así es que eh, tratemos de estar temprano en la clase, ¿verdad? Y participar siempre. Cuando lleguen a casita, me, me dicen, teacher, ya estoy listo, ¿ok? No se me escondan, ¿ok? <laughs> ok, very good. And I have another message. Eh, Delia. Teacher. Yes. Erenia. Aquí está cayendo una fuerte tormenta. I understand, I understand. Ok. Don't worry. Eh, cuando baje un poquito la tormenta, Freddy puede participar, oiga. Sí, ok, gracias. Yes, yes, yes. Ok, good. También vamos a poner de oyente a Freddy. Deme unos minutos, eh, teacher, solo, solo no problem, arreglo algo aquí en mi casa. Disculpe. No problem, no problem, Delia, I understand. Good. Bueno, entonces... Eh, Jessica Carolina, present. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica Araceli. Present teacher. Estenia. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Kenia. Present. Thank you. Qué bueno que está ahora en casita, ¿verdad? Hoy es viernes. Nice. Eh, Delia ya me dijo que va a estar un ratito ahí y luego tenemos gracias, María. Present. Thank you. Ada. Present. Thank you, Ada. Jonathan. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Atilio. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, María René está de oyente. Ok. Brenda Lee. William. Present. Evelyn. Present teacher. Thank you. Erenia. Present. Good. Let's do it together, right? Now, I will make it, uh, I will maximize a little bit. Let me see. Here, right? Good. I have another message. Ah, René Alexi, present. Yes, René Alexi, thank you very much. Ya le tomé la asistencia. Eh, Todos están presentes, solo me falta Brenda Lee. Nada más. Espero que se conecte otro ratito. Ok. Now, eh, number one. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What time do or what time does? Volunteers, please. What time does? What time does? Yes. What time does? Because we have the pronoun eat. We have the pronoun eat, right? What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. At 9 a.m., right? Number two. Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. What time do or what time does? Volunteer? What time do? What time do? What time do, right? What time do you arrive? I arrived at 8.15. Okay. Good. Number three. Tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What time do or what time does? What time? Repeat, please. What time? What time does? Does. Why? Because... The photocopy it. center is singular. Uh -huh, is it? The photocopy center is singular. Remember, <clears throat> sorry. Excuse me, give me a second, please. Okay, excuse me, excuse me. Now, because the photocopy is singular, we say, what time does it open, right? Or oh, what time does the photocopy center open? Now, number four, please. What time do or what time does? What time do? What time do? Why do? Because what? restaurants. And restaurant is plural, right? Every time we have a plural, we say do. Every time we have singular, we say does, right? Good. Number five. Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. And? What time do? What time do, correct. Why? Because we have they, right? Do they open? What time do they? time do they open? They open around 7.30 or 8.05. Okay? Good. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. There is number one, sorry. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What time does it start?
what time does it what time does it start 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 what time does it start It starts at 9 a.m. Starts. Starts. It starts at 9 a.m. Repeat us to me, please. Number two. Number two. Le oh, sorry. Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Wednesday. Let's meet. Great. What time do you arrive? Time. Hmm. Mm. Time. What time do you arrive? I arrive at 8.15 a.m. I arrive at 8.15 a.m. Number three. Repeat after me, please. Tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Have to go. Tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. You can say center or center. Center, center. The same, right? Repeat after me. Me too. What time does the photocopy center open? What time does open? What time does the photo sorry? <laughs> what time does the photocopy center open? It opens at 6.50 a.m. It opens at 6.50 a.m. Number four. Wendy, do you have dinner with me after the workshop? No, sorry. Do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Workshop. Work. Shop. Workshop. Do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Faster. Do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes. But what time do restaurants close here? What time do restaurants close here? Oh, around 7.25 p.m. Around 7.25 p.m. Conversation five. Repeat, please. Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday.
Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. Uh, and what time, what time do they open? What time do they open? What time open? What time do they open? They open around 7.30 or 8.05. They open around 7.30 or 8.05. Okay, now conversation one, please. Uh, Jessica Carolina and Jessica Araceli. Jessica Carolina A, Jessica Araceli B. Ready? One, two, three, action. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What I does? It start. It start at nine a.m. Good. Thank you. Right. Repeat after me, please. Recruitment. Recruitment. Employees. Employees. Tuesday. 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 What time? What time? Look at my lips. Mm. Mm. Time. What time? What, what time? time? Incorrect time. 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 That's it. Time. Like you say, I am. I am time. Time. Is that starting to close the lips? Close, mm, 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 close the lip, right? Time. Time. Start. Start. Remember, it's not a start, no. A, no, it's start. And in here with an S, starts. Repeat, please. Starts. Comienza con S y termina con S. Repeat, please. Starts. Nine. Nine, no. Nine. Repeat, repeat, please. Mm. The tip of the tongue must be up, right? La puntita de la lengua debe estar arriba. Tocando el paladar suave. Nine. Nine. Bueno, entre el paladar suave y el paladar duro. El paladar suave se toca en el cielo de su boca. ¿Mm? Con la lengua van a sentir que es un poquito suavecito, ¿no? Y ya cuando va llegando a las encías, ¿no? se va haciendo más, más duro, más fuerte, ¿no? Entonces, en inglés, eh, para aprender, que eso no sirve para pronunciar, por supuesto. Le dicen al paladar suave, hard, eh, soft palate. Y al paladar duro, la parte más durita, eh, hard palate. Entonces, entre el paladar suave y el paladar duro, la lengua, eh, el puntito de la lengua debe estar tocando esa parte. Digamos, nine. Nine. Ok. Good. Now, number two, please. Thank you, Jessica. Jessica, thank you very much. Uh, Estenia, please, you and Kenya. Number two, Estenia A, Kenya B. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, Estenia and Kenya, action. Okay. Let's meet for the meeting of Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? I arrive at a quarter a.m. 8.15, right? 8.15. 8.15 a.m. Oh, good. Oh, a quarter after eight. You can say okay. 8.15 or a quarter after eight. Okay. Okay, thanks. 
Good. And don't forget that we said time. 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 No time. Time, no. Time. And arrive is, uh, we end with the labial dental, right? La B labidental, o B de vaca, como decimos en la escuela, ¿no? Eh, es pronunciada con los labios de abajo en la parte de atrás de los dientes de arriba. So we say arrive, b, b, arrive, I arrive, ¿ok? Don't say array, array no, arrive, b, ¿ok? Now repeat, please. I arrive. I arrive at a fifteen. A fifteen a.m. Good. And what time? What time? Excellent. That's it, right? Now number. Thank you very much, Kenya and Estenia. We are going to go to number three. Teacher, una... yes, yes. ¿Qué significa quarter? Quarter, eh, es cuarto. Cuarto, ah. Ajá, eh, voy a explicarlo con, con el dólar, ¿verdad? With the dollar, right? El dólar es 100 centavos. Sí, 100 cent, right? Y 25 centavos es la cuarta parte de 100, ¿verdad? Por lo tanto, es a quarter. Es un quarter, así se llama, quarter. ¿Ok? ¿Qué sí. es? Quiere decir un cuarto, pero los salvadoreños en lugar de decir cuarto, le decimos cora. Cora. Con C, ¿verdad? Cora. Pero en realidad es quarter. Claro, usted no va a llegar al mercado o al señor del bus o, o al del pan. Le, le, voy a dar un, le voy a dar una quarter. <risa> Porque, ¿qué le van a decir? Se van a extrañar, ¿verdad? Ahora sí. bien, la hora no tiene 100 min minutos, tiene 60 minutos, ¿verdad? 60 minutes. Right? Entonces, so, la cuarta parte de 60 es 15. Right? Entonces, 15 es a quarter, right? A quarter. ¿Sí? 15 es quarter. Sería como una cora en tiempo, ¿eh? <ríe> ok, a quarter. Entonces, cuando decimos... Permítame borrar esto aquí. Cuando decimos 8.15 o a quarter, a quarter after 8, es un cuarto, un cuarto de hora después de las 8. ¿eh? A quarter after 8. ¿Understand? Uh -huh. ¿Do you understand, Jessica, Carolina? Eh, soy Kenia. Oh, Kenia, sorry, Kenia, excuse me. Sí, Eso... ahora sí. Gracias. Okay, very good. Se parecen las voces, ¿eh? <ríe> ok, sorry. Now, let's continue, right? Eh, ¿Dónde nos quedamos? En la conversation three, ¿verdad? ¿Ya asigné la conversación tres? Gracias, María, dijimos, ¿verdad? ¿Yes? Yes. Ya, ya, ya me había salvado ese gracias, María. <laughs> ok, and Ada, right? Ready, Ada? Your letter B. And, and, and gracias, María, letter A. Ladies and gentlemen, Directly from Hollywood, California. Tonight we introduce Gracia Maria and Ada. Action. Tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. Why? What time does the photocopy center open? It's open at 6.50 a.m. Okay, thank you. It opens. Eh? It opens. It opens. It, it, with S, right? With, it opens. It opens. Uh, and again, time. You can practice in front of the mirror if you want, right? In front of the espejo. Yes? Se pone el espejito ahí. Time. Se ven que cierren los labios. Time. Okay? What time? What time? Is the time? of the season, you know. I remember this in here in the neighborhood, right? In my colonia, the security guard said, un señor que iba entrando, le digo, alto, identifíquese. Y el señor en el carro dijo, ah, oh, permítanos. 
se agarró un espejo y dijo, ah, sí, yo soy, le dijo. <risa> ok. <risa> so you can use the mirror to practice, you know, to practice. Time, open, center, nine, a.m., it opens. Ah, huh? ok. Thank you very much. Gracias, María. De nada. Now, we have uh, Jonathan and Jose Atilio, right? Number four. Jonathan, your letter A. Jose Atilio, your letter B. Ready? Boys, men's present. Well, los hombres dicen presente, okay? One, two, three, action. Jose Atilio, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yeah, but what time do restaurant close here? Oh, around seven. 20. 25 p.m. 20. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And listen, Jonathan is very intelligent. Oh, sorry. Jonathan is very intelligent. He says, uh, no, Wendy. He says, Jose Atilio, right? Jose Atilio, right? Okay. Thank you. Okay, good. Now let's go to uh, the next one, please. Number five, right? Okay. Number five is going to be for uh, William and... Evelyn and William, right? Evelyn, your letter A. William, your letter B. Ready? Action. Evelyn, are you ready? What number? Uh, number, number, five. number five, right? Can you participate? Puede participar, Evelyn? Estoy con mi niña, sí. <laughs> Okay, try. Inténtelo ahí, pues. Okay. Okay, Ready? okay. Okay. Uh, Amanda, Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. What time do they open? They open around 7.30 or 8.00. Um, no recuerdo. O -O -5, O -5. O -O -5. Yes, thank you very much. Look at this. When we say O, is for example, is eight O five, because the zero, the zero, is pronounced O. And when you say telephone numbers or when you say the time, right? When you say the time, you say, you don't say zero. You don't say eh, eight zero five. No, you say eight o oh, five, right? Okay, good. Now, any question? Good, I have a message here. Uh, ah, okay, very good, Brenda. Excellent. Now let's go to the class today. Let me see what is the program. Okay, uh, we finished the manual. Ah, okay. So we have a, a an exercise. Yes, Jose Tilo, do you have a question? And the number five, um, the time or no say a.m. or p.m. No, 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 but the, let's suppose it's a.m. because uh, you open okay. the, the business, normally you open the business in uh, in the morning, right? Well, yeah. at least it's a disco, I mean, it's a disco maybe, right? Woo! They open at 7 p.m., right? I imagine, I imagine, I'm not sure. I, I okay. don't know, I don't know the discos, <laughs> never, right? But in this case, uh, The department that no, uh -huh, it's, it's a.m. right? I suppose it's a.m. right? Okay, now. Uh-huh. And people ask me, uh, tell me, 
these people question for the time my watch how responding I can I can time is six sixteen AM for example or Ah, I understand. No way, it's a question of logic, right? Uh, if they ask you in the morning, you say 7 a.m. If they ask you in the evening, 7 p.m., right? Okay? But in, in other situations that is very special, Jose Atilio, is that uh, when people are in, in other countries, for example, in, in Italy, in Italy, there are like eight hours of difference. El Salvador in, in Italy, right? So what time is what time is in Italy? It's 7 a.m. Oh, it's 2 p.m. in El Salvador, for example, right? So it depends on the context. So when they ask you in the morning, you say a.m., right? Understand, Jose Atilio? Even with your with your watch. Okay. Now okay. let's go to the We're going to practice with a with a, an exercise. Okay. Here, right. Good. Now talking about this, Atilio, not that you talk that uh, the time is different in some places, right? And how do you answer when they say what time is in your watch? Here we have Vanessa that she's calling some friends around the world in other countries, right? We have Sara. In what city is Sara? Sara is in New York, right? Okay, let's see. Give me a second. Let me uh, play this. Units 5 to 6 progress check. Page 42, exercise 1 listening around the world it's 9 a.m. in Los Angeles Vanessa is calling friends around the world listen to the conversations and complete the chart one hello hello Sarah this is Vanessa I'm calling from Los Angeles Hi, Vanessa. How are you? I'm good. So, how are things in New York? Oh, fine, thanks. What time is it there? It's about 12 o'clock. It's noon? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you having lunch now? No, no, it's okay. I'm just watching television. Two. Hello? Hello, Manuel. This is Vanessa in Los Angeles. How are you? I'm not sure, Vanessa. It's a little early for me. Really? What time is it in Mexico City? Well, it's a quarter after 11 in the morning here. 11.15 a.m.? Yeah. I'm having breakfast right now. You're having breakfast? Yeah. I always get up late on Saturdays. Three. Hello. Hello. Is this Bob? Yes, it is. Who's calling, please? This is Vanessa. Oh, hi, Vanessa. So, Bob, how are things in Sydney? Things are fine, but do you know it's 3.30 in the morning here? Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm not sleeping. What are you doing? I'm reading a really great book. It's about this guy. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, first, we're going to check it out about Sarah, right? And who's going to help me with Sarah? Aha, uh -huh. Brenda, please. Brenda, you're going to help me with Sarah, right? You're going to tell me what time is it in New York and what is Sarah doing, right? I will play the, the audio Art. again. Listen. One.
Hello? Hello, Sarah. This is Vanessa. I'm calling from Los Angeles. Hi, Vanessa. How are you? I'm good. So, how are things in New York? Oh, fine, thanks. What time is it there? It's about 12 o'clock. It's noon? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you having lunch now? No, no, it's okay. I'm just watching television. Okay. Ready, Brenda? Yes. What time is it? In New York. It's, it's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock. Or you can say 12 p.m., right? Or you can say noon. Noon is no. mediodía, right? Noon. Uh huh. Correct. And what what is Sarah doing, Brenda? Uh, watch TV. Watch TV, right? I will copy in infinity, but you say watch. She watches, or she is watching. Excuse me. Excuse me. Watching TV, right? Okay. Now, Manuel, this is for Ingrid. Ready, Ingrid? You're going to tell me where does Manuel live. What time is it in the place? And what is the activity that, you know, Hola, uh, uh, Manuel is doing, right? Ready? Hola. Listen. Okay, yes. give me a second. I will turn off the... <laughs> I hear a, a beautiful voice. Se yo no vocecita bonita al fondo, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. Es su niña, Ingrid. Sí, es mi niña. Ah, okay. ¿Qué mamá? <laughs> Ahí le está prestando atención. Bueno, perdón por el... Ok, listen, please. Two. Hello. Hello, Manuel. This is Vanessa in Los Angeles. How are you? I'm not sure, Vanessa. It's a little early for me. Really? What time is it in Mexico City? Well, it's a quarter after 11 in the morning here. 11.15 a.m.? Yeah. I'm having breakfast right now. You're having breakfast? Yeah. I always get up late on Saturdays. Okay. So, where is Manuel? I live, I live in Los Angeles. You live in Los Angeles, Ingrid? Nice. Very good. But in this case, we're asking about Manuel, right, Ingrid? Vanessa, yes. li Vanessa lives in Los Angeles. Ingrid lives in Los Angeles? No, you live in El Salvador, right, Ingrid? Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Vanessa lives in Los Angeles. And Manuel, where does Manuel live? Want to listen yes. again, Vanessa, uh, Ingrid? Yes. Yes, again. Okay, good. Pay attention in the place where Manuel lives. Two. Hello? Hello, Manuel. This is Vanessa in Los Angeles. How are you? I'm not sure, Vanessa. It's a little early for me. Really? What time is it in Mexico City? Well, it's a quarter after 11 in the morning here. 11.15 a.m.? Yeah. I'm having breakfast right now. You're having breakfast? Yeah. I always get up late on Saturdays. Okay, Ingrid, where is Manuel? Me Mexico Me City, right? Mexico yeah. is the country, and Mexico City is the capital, right? Okay. It's one of the most polluted uh, cities in the world. A friend told me that in the morning, some birds died, right? Because of the, of the pollution in Mexico City, right? Un amigo me contó que En las mañanas aparecen muertos los pajaritos por es tan fuerte la contaminación en México que que mueren los pajaritos en la mañana, ¿ok? Sorry, it's the the pollution, right? But sorry, this is another story, es otra cosa. 
So what time is it in in Mexico City, English? It's 11, 15. 15, right? Or you can say a quarter after 11 or 11.15. 11, Good. And what is Manuel doing? Play on Saturday. Play? Play soccer? Mm. No lo sé, Rick. I don't, I don't know, Rick. It looks fake. Parece falso. <laughs> Having no. what? Ingrid? It's uh huh. Listen, listen. What one, one more time? What time is it in Mexico City? Well, it's a quarter after eleven in the morning here. Eleven fifteen a.m. Yeah, I'm having breakfast. Fifteen a.m. Yeah, I'm having breakfast. Fifteen a.m. Yeah, I'm having breakfast right now. Okay. So what Break is Manuel? Uh huh. Breakfast. Breakfast, right? Okay. Manuel is having breakfast. Manuel uh -huh. is having breakfast. Very good. Thank you, Ingrid. Have breakfast, right? Have breakfast. Good. Do you know what is breakfast, Ingrid? Do you know what is breakfast? ¿Sabe qué significa breakfast? Uh, the microphone, Ingrid. Desayuno, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. in, in Spanish, what is desayuno? ¿Qué significa desayuno in Spanish? Desayunar. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is the meaning? ¿Qué significa? Comida. Mm, ok, look at this. Des, descomponer, right? Des, deshacer. Ok. So, ¿cuál es lo opuesto de componer? Descomponer, right? Yes. yes. ¿Cuál es lo opuesto de hacer? Deshacer. Deshacer. ¿Y cuál es lo opuesto de ayunar? Desayunar. Desayunar, correct, right? ¿Sabe qué es ayunar, verdad, Ingrid? Es no comer. Yes. Ok. Yes. Usted pasa toda la noche sin comer, dormidita. Sin comer. Y ya en la mañana, que ya come, entonces rompe ese ayuno. ¿Ok? Va en contra de ayunar porque come, ¿verdad? Entonces eso se llama desayunar es romper el ayuno que usted traía toda la noche, ¿verdad? Ayunando. Entonces, la mañana que come rompe el ayuno. Desayunar. Y lo mismo significa en inglés, mire. Break significa romper o quebrar. ¿Ok? So, break fast. En español, fast significa ayuno, como, como nombre, ¿verdad? como adjetivo es rápido, fast, rápido. Pero como nombre es ayuno, entonces es fast. Quiere decir que breakfast significa romper el ayuno también, mire. Break, romper, y fast, ayuno, romper el ayuno. ¿Por qué rompe uno el ayuno? Porque se echa los frijolitos, el platanito, el huevito, <risa> ok very good perdón por el comercial ahí, verdad, pero para Gracias explicar, a ti. ok, good para que más o menos entendamos el lenguaje, tanto en español como en inglés, ok, thank you, now Bob, let's talk about Bob, right eh, who's going to help me with Bob Brenda Lee can you help me Brenda Lee Hello, hello, Brenda Lee, 10 4, 10 4. O creo que me dijo Brenda Lee que iba a estar de oyente, quiero ver. Ajá, ya puedo. Brenda, sí, Ingrid, Marisol. Me, teacher, I can help you. Ok, thank you, Delia. 
Help me, please. Listen. You're having breakfast? Yeah. I always get up late on Saturdays. Three. Three. Hello? Hello. Is this Bob? Yes, it is. Who's calling, please? This is Vanessa. Oh. Hi, Vanessa. So, Bob, how are things in Sydney? Things are fine, but do you know it's 3.30 in the morning here? Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm not sleeping. What are you doing? I'm reading a really great book. It's about this guy. Uh huh. okay. Delia? Okay. So what Bob, is Bob? Uh, the city is Sydney. The time is uh, 3.30 a.m. And he's reading a book. Good. Sydney, right? Sydney. And what time is it, you say? 3.30 a.m. 3.30 in the morning, right? A.m. Mm -hmm. And what is the activity he's doing? He is reading a book. Read a book, right? Read a book. So, uh, Delia, uh, Sydney is the capital of what country? No, Sydney is uh, one of the principal cities uh, you know, of Australia. And what is the capital? Uh, what is the capital of Australia? Canberra. Canberra. <laughs> nice, you're good in geography, right? No, yeah. my daughter live, lives in Australia. Oh, really? But in the yeah, but in the in Western Australia. Okay, uh, uh, Australia is gigante, uh, gigante, uh, gigante, gigante. Sí. Yes, I imagine, right? By the way, do you know the the capital city of some country, like for example, Norway? Noruega. Mm, what is the capital no, city? No, 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 no. Oh. no. I am bad in in, in oh, geography. <laughs> you, no, you're good because you said Sydney is, is a city, right? And and Canberra is the capital. <laughs> the the capital city of Norway is Oslo. Oslo, Oslo, Norway. Yes. Uh huh. In Finland, Finlandia. No. Helsinki. Helsinki. Sweden. Suecia. Eh. No, teacher. Estocolmo. Estocolmo, yeah. Suiza, Switzerland, Switzerland. No. Anybody? Okay. Berna, right? Berna. Et cetera, et cetera, right? The capital of El Salvador, Delia? El Salvador. <laughs> the best, right? The best. The best. <laughs> the most important. Okay, class. Uh, thank you, Delia. Thank you. Uh, any question, class? Questions? No questions? Okay, very good. Uh, Dino wants to say hello to Ingrid's daughter, right? Hello. Ingrid's hello. daughter, how are you? Hello. Yeah. hello. Hi. Hello. My name is Dino. Hello. Dino. Hi. Hi. What's your name? What's your name? Jay, Jamie. Jaylee. Jaylee. Oh, beautiful name. Jaylee. Mm. Nice. You're beautiful. Jaylee, you're beautiful like me. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, she's beautiful. Congratulations, Ingrid. Okay, now. Gracias. Okay, anytime. Uh, okay. Now we're going to see uh, some exercises here. Let me see what is next in the program. Okay. Okay, it's the presentation now, right? The presentation for tonight.
Okay, very good. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight or today, right, is uh, July 21st. And how to use prepositions of time. This is the topic for tonight. Prepositions of time, right? That is the topic. Good. And the objective is, what is the objective? Uh, Jose Atilio, can you help me? Read the objective, please, for tonight. Okay. Unit three, where do you work? I will I will be able to tell different people the specific sign and days of activity I do in my first place. Jose Atilio, good reading. Congratulations. Eh? That's it. Now, let's start talking about the preposition. Look. Okay. When do you use on in time? When do you use in? When do you use at? Right? Read, please. In the meantime, I will take the attendance. Okay. Elsa, listener, right? Mm -hmm. Jessica Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Jessica Araceli. Present teacher. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. Uh, Estenia. Present. Okay. And Kenya. Present. Gracias, Maria. Present. Delia. Present teacher. Good. And Ada? Present. Jonathan? Present, teacher. Rene Alexi? Okay. Por ahí me pone presente en el grupo, en el chat. Brenda? Present. Ingrid? Present, teacher. Jessica Pérez? Sigue de oyente, ¿verdad, Jessica Pérez? Ok. José Atilio. Present teacher. Brenda Lee. Brenda Lee está de oyente o puede participar. Ok, let me see. Vamos a ver, aquí están los mensajes. Eh, René Lexi present. Alma Brenda Lee present. Bueno, Jessica también. Eh, entiendo que Brendalí está de oyente, entonces, sí, thank you. Good. Luego, eh, María René. María René, sigue de oyente o puede participar, María René. René. Ok. Parece ser que María René se desconectó. Good. Eh, William? Present. Erenia? Present. Thank you very much. Freddy? Freddy? ¿Ya dejo de llover en casita, Freddy? Present teacher. Sí. sí. Ahorita ya está ya, ya, un poco ya, más tranquilo. ¿Ya puede participar, Freddy? Sí, sí. Ok, buen provecho. Ok. Let's continue, right? Let's continue. Now, oopsie, oopsie. Here, right? Ok. So, these are how to use the preposition. Look. We use on when we, we refer to days. Days. Days of the week, days of the weekend. Say on Saturday, on Monday, on Wednesday, on on Tuesday, etc. We use on when we talk about dates, fechas, right? On January 23rd. Okay. Uh, what day is today? For example, 21st, right? July 21st. On July 21st. Mm. 
when we have vacation we have vacation on uh, august on august 26 no no 26 no. <laughs> august august the second right mm -hmm. august the second or we can use on when we talk about days and date combinated recombination days and dates I will copy the difference. Days, Mondays, Tuesday, and dates. Days and dates. So we have a combination between days and dates, right? On Monday, February 5th, that's fine. Or some parts of the day, on Wednesday morning, on Tuesday afternoon, on Friday evening. etc right good now when do we use in when when we talk about time we use in uh, when month in may in june in july in august in september right okay uh, we use in when we say years in 2018 right is the coronavirus right el año del coronavirus no right 2020, right? I forgot. Ya se me olvidó. ¿Cuándo fue el coronavirus? El 2020. 2020. Oh, tiempo triste estar encerrado. 2000, 2020. In 2020. Coronavirus was in 2020, right? Okay. Now, when we talk about uh, seasons, we say in the summer, in the fall, in the spring, in the winter, right? We say in. Then with parts of the day, but don't mention the day, right? Si mencionar el día ni la fecha, parte del día. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, for example, right? Then we use at with all the time. At 2.30, at 3 p.m., at or a.m., right, etc., etc. Good. Eh, me recuerdo que en una de las sesiones alguien me preguntó sobre estas preposiciones. Creo que fue Estenia. No me acuerdo. Pero uh, aquí están, en el uso del, de las preposiciones. ¿Se acuerdan quién me preguntó sobre las preposiciones de tiempo? Mi teacher. Eh, Estenia. Delia. Ah, Delia, Delia, okay, yeah. Sí, es cierto, ya me acuerdo. <laughs> okay, so Delia, here we have the, the answer. Look, aquí tiene su respuesta ya. Mire, Delia. Okay. okay, at when we talk about time. And when we talk about some specific parts of the day, at noon, at night, at midnight, right? Al mediodía, en la noche. Y en la medianoche, la hora de los espantos, ¿verdad? At midnight. Okay? Good. Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. On. On Saturday. On January 23rd. On Monday, February 5th. On Wednesday morning. In May, in 2018, in the summer, in the morning, at 2.30, at noon. At night, at midnight. Okay, questions? Teacher. Yes, tell me, Jose Atilio. Se lo voy a ir en español porque. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. No problem, no problem. Go ahead. El, estoy viendo que las fechas de, de día, y así me imagino que son todos los días del calendario, se dicen como en grado, así, quinto. 
Want to see ah, me not yes. Yes, I will explain. Give me a second. I will explain. Aunque el número primero se dice normal y solo el último se dice en grado. Okay, I will explain. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me a second. I will explain. Okay, page 62. 64 is. Okay, here. No, I made a mistake. No, no era aquí. Sorry. Give me a second. Deme un segundito, José Tilio, okay? Uh, here, no tampoco. Oops. Permítame. Andamos perdidos aquí, <ríe> Atilio. Es la unidad. Ah, aquí estamos. Yes. Ok. Yes. Ok, look. Here we have the, 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 the cardinal, the ordinal numbers, sorry, the ordinal numbers. Solo déjeme ajustarlo acá. Ahí estamos. So look, when we have the first, right? We use uh, the ST, look. ST, right? I saw. When we say second, we use this uh, ND. When we say third, we say the RD. And we say fourth, the DH, right? Here in this case, for example, is third. Right? Third. So they are D. And the same happened with the other ones. We say fourth, fifth, sixth. We have the TH, right? Okay. And the same happened here with the seventh. We use the TH, right? Seventh. And then we happen, the same happened with the tenth. Oopsie. Sorry, it takes time, Atilio, but you know, it's, it's an extensive topic, right? It's an extensive topic. Okay, the 12th is TH, right? The 15. The 19th. TH, look, TH, 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 TH. Then when we come back to 21st and 22nd, we come back to the ND, to ST, etc., etc., right? Okay, the 24th. TH, look. TH. Vigésimo cuarto in Spanish, right? And this is 26. Twenty-eighth. Thirtieth. Thirtieth. Trigésimo, right? Thirtieth. Trigésimo. And we come back to 31st, 31, right? 31st. In this month, for example, we have 31st in, in July, right? El mes de los memes. So we have 31st, right? Okay, listen, Atilio, in class. Page 72, exercise one, part B. Complete the dates. 
Then listen and practice. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth. Fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth. Twenty seventh, twenty eighth, twenty ninth, thirtieth, thirty first. Okay, Atilio. And you know, we use the ST because first ends with ST. We use the ND because second ends in ND. We say third, because third ends in RD, and we say fourth, because it ends, it ends in TH. The same all the number, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. We don't say eighth, but eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera, right? Good, Jose Tilio? Understand? Hello? Do you copy Jose Atilio? Well, let's continue, right? Okay, here we are, right? I don't know where is Jose Atilio. Okay. Now let's go and, and continue with some example, right? When's the meeting? Uh, it's in June. So we use in. Because it's month, right? So we say in June. When's the meeting with the employees? It's in the morning. When's the meeting with the boss? In the afternoon. When's the workshop? It's on June. On June 15, right? Because when we talk about dates, we use on. When's the video call? It's on the 12th. What day is the dinner? It's on Friday. What time is the movie? It's at noon. What time is the game? It's at 2.30. Where's the English class? It's at night. Okay? Now, let's practice, right? Erenia, you're going to make the questions, Erenia, and William, you're going to make the answer, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. When's the meeting? It is June. When the employees? It's in morning. Okay, sorry. When's the meeting with the employees? Oh. Erenia? Erenia? Ah. When's the meeting with the employees? It's the meeting with the employees. It's in the morning. When's the meeting with the boss? It's in the afternoon. 
Wednesday workshop workshop. It's on July. It's fifteenth. 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 Wednesday video call. Video call. It's on the twelve. Twelve. What day is the dinner? It's on Friday. What time is the movie? It's at noon. What time is the game? It's at uh, 2 or half. 2.30. 2 2.30? Or half past 2. This is difficult. I will copy. I will copy. Half. The L is mute. La L is muda, right? So we don't say half. We say half. Past two. Half past two. Repeat. Half past no, two. No, half. Half. La, la half L is, past la, two. La L is muda. So we say half. Mm. Half. Era muda. Era, era, ella era muda. So we say ah, half. Past two, right? Okay, thank you. Continue, please. Wednesday in, in English class. Class. It's a night. Excellent. Thank you very much. Right? Questions? This is a situation of memorize, right? Only memorize. Memory. Simple. When to use in, when to use on, when to use at, right? Memorize. Questions? Una consulta. Yeah. Eh, en, en el caso del at, eh, normalmente sería pasado el mediodía. Utilizarse en... en como, no, only en mediodía. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Only mediodía, only medianoche. Oh. Uh -huh. A specific moment, right? Ah, oh, muy bien. We, we, we are, what, what are the, the expressions with at? Night. Midnight. Eh, noon. Y tiempo, a cualquier tiempo. Tu serio, vamos a poner. Tu pobre. At night, at midnight, at noon, at tu pobre. Ok. Pero si ya se pasó un minuto después de las 12, ya no aplica. <laughs> ¿Ok? Bien, bien. Ok. It's just to memorize, William. You have to memorize that never say in night. No, we say at night. At noon. At noon. Never say in noon. No, no. At noon. Right. Ok. Any other question? Ya regresé, Tich. Ah, good. O sea, Tich, ¿qué pasó? Yo me quedé... Te fue la, te fue la luz acá. Y, ah, sorry. Y se cayeron los datos. ¿Y es, eh, alcanzó a escuchar el audio, José Atilio? No, comenzan de explicar iba, pero voy ah. a ver el video. Ah, ok. Ahí lo, ahí lo mira, entonces. O, o si quiere lo ponemos otra vez para que lo escuchen. No, o, o en el... no, no, está bien. Ah, ok, está bien. Ok, good. Sorry, sorry for the inconvenience, right? Ok, está en... To explain, right? In general, we use on with names of days or dates. On Thursday, on Monday morning, on Father's Day, look. Para las celebraciones, they say on, right? On July 2nd, on the weekend, on Saturdays, on a weekday. Days or dates, right? We use in general in with periods of time. Exceptua, exceptuando los, numer, los nombres de los días, right? We don't say in Monday, no, in Monday, no, on Monday. Now, in 2022nd, in June, in the winter, in an hour, in the evening, in the 21st century, in the 1980s, in two weeks. Right? When you use that, like I said before, right? 
time specific time, right? A las nueve, a las nueve treinta, nueve quince. At sunrise. A la, al amanecer, right? a la puesta del sol. No, no, no la puesta al, al... Cuando sale el sol, right? Sunrise. At down, en la madrugada, down. A la puesta del sol. Ah, amanecer, amanecer sería entonces. Ah, down, yes. Al amanecer. Eh, alguna gente dice the down, el amanecer, right? O at down, the same. At noon and at midnight. ¿Ok? En el sunset. Sunset, es puesta el sol. At sunset. Sun, sunset. At sunset. At sunset. Mm -hmm. At. Y just to memorize, right? Aquí creo que no hay, no es que sea difícil o fácil, sino que es solo de memorizarlo, ¿eh? Questions? No questions? Okay, let's continue, right? Good. Let's start with number one. The party is, I will change the color, white, I guess. The party is at at okay. 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. Okay. Uh, Evelyn, please. The dinner is? Very red. Evelyn, the dinner is? Okay. Uh, María René. Ok. José Atilio. On. On. On Monday. Ajá. En At. at. At six o'clock. Very good. Now, Ingrid, number three. Ingrid? Okay, Brenda, please. On Sunday. On non on. Sunday. Okay, on, at, or in noon. It noon Sunday. In? Mm, no lo sé, Rick. No. At noon at, Sunday. Correct. At. In, on, or at Sunday. Uh -huh. In, on, or at, Ingrid? On, teacher. On, correct. Ya le iba a poner un comodín, Ingrid. 50-50, 50-50, o llamada al público. Good. After Ingrid, we have... Eh... Let me see. Uh, Brenda, right? Yes. Okay. Brenda. On. On. The is on. On Friday, right? Good. Jonathan. The meeting is. No, no, it's it. It. No, it's we it. have in, on, and at. Oh, perdón, at. At, okay, very good. At, right? 
Thank you very much. Number six, please. Uh, Ada. Eh, creo que on. On. Cree bien, Ada. <laughs> on Tuesday, right? And? Creo que at. 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 Yes. At. Cree, cree at. bien. At. Correct. Yes. Number seven. Uh, Delia, nine. the train is? At 134. At. at. Good. Thank you, Ada. Thank you, Delia. Now, Gracia Maria, please. Number eight. It's on. It's on, right? Ah, no, right. On. Molestando, molestando, Gracia Maria. <laughs> Solo molestando. <laughs> okay, now, repeat after me, please. The party is at 8 p.m. The dinner is on Monday at 6. The concert is at noon on Sunday. The movie is on Friday and Saturday. The meeting is at 3. English class is on Tuesday at 2.30. The train is at 1.34. 1.34. The game is on Wednesday. Okay. Now, Kenya, please read one to four. And after Kenya, uh, Freddy is going to read five to eight. Ready? Go ahead. The party is at 8 p.m. The dinner is on Monday at 6. The concert is at noon on Sunday. The movie is on Friday and Saturday. Okay. The meaning is at three. English class is on Tuesday at 2.30. Two? Two mm -hmm. That train is at 1.34. Mm, train, okay. train, train. 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 Mm. The game is on Wednesday. Okie dokie. Thank you very much, Kayla. Thank you, Freddy. Okay, let's continue. Here we have another exercise, right? What? Mm. It's uh, good. Volunteers, please, to help me with number one. It's at noon. Yes. Uh huh. But what time? What, what time, time is, is the the game? What time is time? Oh, sorry, time is the game, right? It's it's class. Come on. Ah, at very good. Ah, at, at noon. Number two. Thursday. Mm, when, right? When. When. When's the party? It's? On Friday. On Friday. At 8, right? Good. It's... Number 3. Number 2. Number 2 tiene la S... Apostrophe la S, por eso dije birthday. When's the party? It's on Friday. When's the birthday? 
No, uh, sorry, I don't get it, José. No, no, no le, no le capto la idea, José Tilio. No, es que para mí es como la fiesta de cumpleaños. ¿Me ah. entendería yo? Yeah, sí, sí, pero, pero. Pero ¿por qué por eso? Entonces. Porque es lógico que queda solo la comita y la S ahí. No es posible, yes. Pero entonces ah. sería Wet Breeze Day. Wednesday party, ¿cuándo es la fiesta? Ah, es el viernes a las 8. No, pero es... Ah, puede no ser otra creo. fiesta, puede ser fiesta de, de aniversario, no sé. Ah, no, bueno, no fiesta, sé. Me fiesta confundió de... la apóstrofe y la S porque... Ah, no, no, es correcto. I will copy for you, look. Esto se puede hacer, Atilio. Puedo decir, what's... What's your name, for example, right? Se puede. When's your, aquí le voy a poner el suyo, mire, your birthday. Birthday. No voy a decir birthday porque es el día del pájaro. O birthday, el día de la cerveza, ¿verdad? ¿no? Birthday. Birthday. <laughs> bueno, es el día de la cerveza. Birthday. Birthday. Tú eres birthday. <laughs> when's, look, when's, what's, house. Ok, ok. House de... The game, ¿cómo va el juego? How's the game? ¿Cómo es el juego? How's the game? It's possible. Yeah, you can make that. Good. Let's continue, right? So, uh, lo único que aquí, pues, no le pusimos la... Oops, ¿qué hice? Uh, no le pusimos la mayúscula, pero ahí va con mayúscula. Oso el teacher. Now, number three, please. What? What? Time. What time? Very good. What time? No, no, no. What time? No. No. Because what day? No. What day? What time? No. What Teacher day? Teacher is what day? Teacher is. <laughs> I'm kidding. La estamos molestando, David. Okay, what day, right? Uh -huh. okay. What day is the dinner? Congratulations. It's on Tuesday. On Tuesday. On... Okie dokie. Number four. What time? <laughs> what times? Is possible that? Será yeah. posible eso, Atilio? José Atilio? Mm. Será posible? Quiero ver si lo, lo dejo bien ahí. ahí. What time's the train? Mm, no. Yes, it's possible. Okay. What, time's the, what time's the train? Uh -huh, it's possible. When's the train? What time's the train? Yes, yeah, uh, it's possible, right? It's... At... 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 Number five. What day? What day, right? What day is the movie? It's on. On, right? It's on Saturday, right? Ahí está averiguando Freddy cuándo es la película de Barbie. <laughs> es para llevar a la sobrinita, ¿verdad? Okay, number six. What, what time? What time? In this case, it says time. And uh huh, in on or at? At at. Okay, that's it. Now, because of the time, I will finish this. Vamos a terminar esto porque tenemos una actividad. Eh, un poco larga. But I don't know if you have questions. Questions? No, teacher. No, no. Okay, so we're ready to make the exercise. Quiere decir que estamos listos para, para hacer el ejercicio que tengo planificado. Tenemos, perdón, planificado para esta noche. Good. Now... We're going to do something special. We're going to work in groups. 
Eh, solo tenemos de oyente a eh, René Alexi, Jessica Pérez, Brenda Lee, María René también está de oyente, y Evelyn, no sé, Evelyn, ¿ya está lista Evelyn? No, bueno, entonces está, está de oyente. Eh, voy a hacer los grupos de cuatro. Ok, eh, pero si solo hay tres que están participando, pues con tres lo vamos a hacer. Ok, I will explain. Vamos a explicarlo. Listen. Ask three classmates about their schedule. Me va a preguntarle a los compañeros que estén en el grupo. Son tres, cuatro, cinco. Me lo van a preguntar eh, qué, qué hacen. Ok. O qué actividades, actividades están eh, realizando y a qué horas y en qué día. Por ejemplo... Se dice, eh, make a report, hace un reporte. Todas las mañanas hace un report. Eh, uh, on Tuesday, digamos, el lunes, ¿verdad? On Monday at 9 o'clock. ¿Ya? Me van a decir qué actividad hacen, en qué día o fecha y a, a qué horas lo hacen, ¿sí? Only three activities, solo tres actividades, right And you copy the name here, right? Me le hacen un screenshot ahí, por favor. Okay, I repeat. Something like this. Voy a, voy a hacer un ejemplo para que ustedes lo, lo noten. Que okay. aquí, digamos, el teacher, ¿verdad? Javier. Javier. Activities, check test. Voy a tener que revisar unos exámenes ahí. ¿Qué día? Uh, el lunes, right? Monday. ¿Cómo a qué hora? Como a las tres, quizás. Trip. Ok, good. So, Javier checks test. On Monday at 3. ¿Ok? ¿Understand? No me voy a poner aquí la oración. Javier, check the test. Sino que por separado. El nombre, la actividad, la, la, el día o la fecha. Quieren poner fecha aquí también. Y luego la hora. ¿Sí? What time is it? Bueno, como ya nos queda poco tiempo, solo una actividad por alumno. ¿Sí? Solo una actividad por alumno. ¿Ok? Good. Nos vamos a los breakout rooms rapidito. Sala para grupos pequeños. ¿Ok? Vamos a hacer cuatro grupos. Ok. Grupo número uno. Presten atención, por favor. Erenia, Jessica Araceli, Jessica Pérez, que está de oyente, José Atilio, en René Alexi, que también está de oyente. Son tres, entonces, porque hay dos oyentes. Sala dos, Ada Concepción, Ada, Elsa, que está de oyente, Estenia, Freddy e Ingrid. Ahí hay cuatro. Número tres, Gracia María, Jessica Carolina, Jonathan, Kenia y María René. Que está de oyente, María René. En el grupo cuatro, a uh, Aquí dice Alma. Ah, no, Brenda Lee, ¿verdad? Brenda Lee, que también creo que está de oyente, Brenda Lee. Sí. Y tenemos a Delia. A Delia, a Brenda. Y a William, ¿right? ¿Ok? Ahí estamos con los grupos. Entonces, me van a copiar una actividad por cada uno, a la hora que la hacen y qué día o qué fecha, ¿ok? Understand? Here we go.
Brenda Lee, me escucha. ¿Puede unirse al grupo cuatro, Brenda Lee? Hello, Brenda Lee. Se logra ver. Sí, se logra ver. Okay. Ahí, ah, ya va. No es el texto. Entonces, agrego la mía. Sí. Sí, yo, yo entendí que sería como uno por una actividad, o por sea, alumno. por ejemplo, ajá, el nombre de, sí. por ejemplo, el tuyo podría ser, sí, va. qué actividades hace y en la hora que las hace, así así sucesivamente. Ok. My name is Freddy. Ajá. Activities. Activities. Solo que no le capté mucho si eran actividades laborales o, de, o del día a día. Es que acá estaba lloviendo fuerte cuando se estaba viendo eso. Y la lluvia no me dejaba bien. In the office, in the office. En la office, teacher. Ah, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Thank the you. office, and you can say also the, the date, la fecha que tienen que hacer. Por ejemplo, uh, tener una reunión, por ejemplo, right? Have a meeting. Uh -huh. eh, eh, es, el lunes 24, por ejemplo. On Monday, okay. for example, right? Ok. Pero no okay. quiero la oración completa, solo quiero el dato. El dato nada más. Ah, no me va a poner okay. Freddy, has a meeting. No, no. So ok. Freddy, has a meeting. Name, Freddy, ah. activity meeting, a day, a Monday. Ok. okay. Mm. Es súper fácil. Entonces, ajá, Fred. Cooping coffee. La activity. Cooping coffee. Uh -huh. 7.30, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. sí. oh, yeah. el, el mío, Kenia, Kenia Reyes. 7.30, no. 7.30. Please, use your English. Kenia <risa> 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 Reyes, eh, ok. Kenia Reyes, um, go to dance. Okay, sería que Saturday at 8 p.m. Solo eso. Creo que estamos bien, ¿verdad? Ok. Yes. Sí. No, pues sí. Solo María René porque ya está de oyente. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Terminaron. Bueno, el grupo 3 también ya terminó. Entonces voy a revisar no, el grupo. Pregunto, teacher. Ah, yes. Eh, en el caso mío, yo tomo Ajá. muestras de asfalto. Ajá, yes, ahí no. Eh, más o menos ahí. Take, eh, make land test. Make land test. Ya, como dijimos la vez pasada, ¿verdad? Eh, déjenme compartir aquí una pizarrita. Aquí sería make land test. Make land, land test. Hacer un testeo, una muestra, tomar una muestra de un, de un suelo, ¿verdad? En este caso, asfalto, déjeme ver, asfalt, creo que se escribe, ya yes. Sí, pero asfalt. ponga land, asfalt, ¿verdad? Right? Me, make. Uh, asphalt test algo así sería, ok, ah, okay. okay. make alpha test, 
Yes. Alfas. O land. Porque no solo el asfalto, también toma de tierra, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Eh, ok, entonces land. Como, por, como por el, lo habíamos puesto así por el día, ¿verdad? Que ese día ah, todo bueno, se okay. muestra. Ah, pues sí, está bien, así hágalo entonces. Entonces sería make asphalt. 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 Test. Test, es una prueba, right? Ok, eh, nos vamos ya a la sala todos, por favor. We have seven minutes, but uh, I want to make the appointment for tonight. Uh, Ingrid, can you stay with me tonight? Se puede quedar diez minutos extra, in, o, o ya se quedó conmigo, Ingrid. Sí, ¿verdad? Ingrid. Está incorporando, creo. Hello, hello. Ok, estamos incorporándonos todos, yes. Ah, aquí estamos. Eh, Ingrid, ¿ya tuvimos la sesión con usted, Ingrid, de 10 minutos? Yes, teacher. Yes, yeah, right. Ayer, precisamente, yes. Quería estar seguro. Eh, entonces, José Atilio, ¿puede quedarse 10 minutos? Yes, sí, sir. Excelente, aquí lo anoté ya. Ok, group number one. Ahora sí vamos a leer la oración completa. Ok, Javier, eh, check, check this on Monday at 3 o'clock, por ejemplo, right? Ok, understand? Group number one, please. Uh, start. Me o no es eh, you read the other one, right? Alguien que lea lo de los otros compañeros, no, porque me imagino que lo anotaron por ahí. Yes. Okay, please. Y el, el suyo José Atilio que lo lea otro compañero, yes. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, please. En nuestro caso lo anotó Jessica. Okay, so Jessica, please. Okay. Atilio Vázquez, design, design, road, designs, design, road, o oh, ¿cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Uh, R-O-A-T. R-O-A-D. A-D. No, no, no. R-O-A-D-S. S. R-O-A-D-S. Rose. Rose. Ah, ok. Atilio Vázquez, Design Rose on Monday. A. At. A, at, at, at Monday. Uh, no, on Monday. Ajá, uh -huh, on Monday. At. at a. En. Ok, very good. Thank you. Continue, continue. Erenia Pereira, Creed. Daily report every day on ev at on. <ríe> no sé cuál de la dos dicha. <ríe> ¿A, ¿A qué hora lo hace? At. No. Erenia Pereira Creed Daily Report every day at a eight am. AM, uh -huh. eight am. Good. Continue. Me. I, 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 eh, I, I, no, I check customer report every day at 7 at 30, 7, at, at, at 7.30 a.m. Good, thank you. Nobody else? ¿Ya no hay nadie? Okay. No. no. 
But that's the idea, right? You say add on in, add on in. So please, okay. group number two, group number two, please. Me, teacher. Okay, please. Uh, Ingrid, uh, analyze. Analysis, analysis. Analysis the war on Monday at 2.30 p.m. Okay, excellent. Continue. Stephanie, Stefania. Ah, Stefania. No sé cómo se llama. <laughs> Estefania. 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 Estefania, right. I say it's a new student, right? Okay, Estenia. Yeah, this is the one in Mala. Uh, 26. At? At 26 on Wednesday. On Wednesday, right? At... Uh, no, but I, I, I'm not clear with the time. No, no me quedo clara la hora. O, o no sé si la hora dijo, Freddy. No la dije. Dije la fecha. Ah, ok. Eh, en mí, I cup in the coffee on Monday at 8 o'clock. Ok, thank you, thank you very much. Group number three. Eh, no sé, las digo yo. Yeah, please. Vaya, eh, gracias María. Clean at home cleans, Saturday. Cleans. Cleans at home. Cleans, cleans home. Cleans homes. Saturday at on seven. On Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. Uh -huh. At 7 a.m. Good. Jonathan Fuentes visit clean. Visits. Visits clean. Clinic. Visita la sí. clínica, no. Clean, dijo él, no sé. Visit Klein. Ah, Klein. Yo lo noté mal. Visits, no, no, I, no, me, no me queda claro. Visits. Visita. Klein, eh, acabo de decir yo. Klein. Clen, clientes, Klein. Ah, Kleins. Ah, Klein. He visit Kleins. Ah, ok, good. I'm sorry. Uh, on Friday. 2 p.m. At 2 p.m. At 2 p.m. Eh, Jessica Carolina uh -huh. sends emails every day at 7.30 a.m. Good. Eh, María René, porque está de oyente. Y yo le digo la mía. Please. I. Can, uh, I go to then. Saturday. I go, okay. I go dancing. I go dancing. I go dancing. Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. At 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Very good. Excellent. Right. Now, who, who's next? Group number four, right? Yes. Ubíqueme, por favor, si estoy perdido. <laughs> Group number four, please. Yes, number four, William. To speak because he's the only one man in the group. <laughs> okay, dichoso sea entre todas las mujeres. Okay, William. Yo tengo un problema. Ah, oh, okay. What is your problem? <laughs> <laughs> no noté. Oh, alguien que haya notado ahí al rescate, por favor. <laughs> no, no noté dos. Bueno, los de ella no noté porque la vez pasada fue distinto. Cada quien decía lo de nuestro. Pero nadie ha notado, ok. Muy bien, ayúdenme a ella, William, por favor. Yes. Para que terminemos bien la clase. Vamos a ver okay. quién ayuda. Sí, sálvame, Delia. <risa> ¿Cómo andan, Delia? Ok. Brenda, eh, send report. Sense, sense. Sense, sense. Reports uh, about spen expensive uh, for the different hotels. 
Eh, William. What, when, en what time, a qué horas y cuándo. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. On Friday at eh, 11 a.m. Good. Eh, William, William, eh, take a eh, land. Takes. Takes, takes land test. Eh, on Tuesday at 10 eh, a.m. Ajá. Uh -huh. And I check, check, no, check emails eh, Monday at 8 a.m. Ok, very good. A Freddy se le olvidó uno ahí del grupo, creo. <ríe> ok. No problem. Así pasa, ¿verdad? A veces a mí también se me olvida mencionar algunos alumnos. Sorry. Ok. Cuando estén de oyente y ya se activan, díganme siempre por, para tomarlos en cuenta. No, no se me escondan. La idea es participar. Ok. Good. Any question before we finish? No. Ok, nos quedamos con Atilio. Voy a tomar rápido la asistencia, please. Ok, let me see. Elsa, me manda el mensaje, por favor. Y espero que se recupere para el lunes. Primero Dios. Jessica Carolina. Present teacher. Good, Good night. night. God Good bless night. you. You too. Bye bye. Jessica Araceli. Present. Bye Good bye. Night. Have a nice weekend. Estenia. Present. Good night. Good night. See you on Monday. Eh, Freddy. Thank you. you too. Freddy. Freddy. Present. Present. Okay. Present. Teacher. Good night. God bless you. Good night. Good night. Kenya. Present. Good night. Gracias, María. Present. Good okay. night. See you tomorrow. Delia. Present. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Eh, you. Ada. Ada. Present. Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, doki. Eh, René Alexi, mándeme el mensaje de presente. Eh, Brenda. Present. Good night. Good night. Ingrid. Present teacher. Good okay. night. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. Eh, Jessica Pérez me manda el mensaje. José Atilio. Present. Ok, no me voy a ir. Uh, Brenda Lee. Mensaje de asistencia, Brenda Lee. María René. No estoy seguro si se conectó un ratito María René. No sé si ustedes se recuerdan haberla visto. Yo me recuerdo que se conectó. Bueno. Eh, Evelyn. Evelyn. William. Good night. Happy Good night. Weekend. You too. Bye bye. Erenia. Present. Okay. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. See you Monday. Sorry. See you Monday. Right? Ah, que está Brenda Libre. <laughs> Ajá, uh -huh. excelente. Y, ah, María René es la que me falta, ya yes. Ok, Erenia, see you on, on Monday. En Brenda Lee, goodbye. Y tenemos presente, presente, presente. Ok, regálenme un segundito, José Tilio, solo quiero ver si está por aquí María René, es que me recuerdo que leí un mensaje aquí de ella. René Alexi, Brenda, eh, Elsa, Jessica, Ada, Ingrid, Delia, Freddy, René Alexi. No, no está, creo. Brenda, Elizabeth. No, Cristiano no, no se conectó, María. María René. Y no la veo ningún mensaje. Bueno, ok, vamos a la clase. So, José Atilio, do you like the class? Yes. Ah, ok, good. Uh, do you have any specific topic that you want to speak about? 
Yes, but what topic? I confused for me and use the do. Do and oh. do and, and does. Do and does and <laughs> okay. Algunas expresiones, no sé, me confundo el, el uso del do and does. Okay, good. Let's go immediately to explain, right? Okay, uh, I want to explain first, Jose Atilio, that in Spanish we use the conjugación del verbo, right? Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, run, you say, yo corro, ella corre, nosotros corremos, etc., etc., right? That is what, what we have as a verb conjugation, la conjugación del verbo. E inclusive le podemos borrar el, el, el nombre y se entiende siempre. Corremos, Corremos. corre, corro. Se entiende que soy yo el que corre cuando digo corro. ¿Sí? Entonces esa es la forma de comunicarnos en español. Pero en inglés mm. ellos no usan la conjugación del verbo. Si ellos dicen I eat, I They eat, we eat, they, etc., etc. Entonces el verbo no cambia. Uh -huh. y, y también ellos siempre usan el sujeto. Mire, I eat, you eat, siempre se usa el sujeto. En español lo podemos omitir, pero en inglés no se puede omitir. ¿Okay? Es como especificando quién hace la acción, ¿va? Correcto, pero en inglés no existe eso. No, no, por eso dicen yo, uh -huh. él. Correcto, va muy bien. Número uno, es obligación usar el sujeto. Número dos, eh, hay muchos auxiliares. El primero es el verbo to, to be. Eh, en toda la forma, ¿verdad? Am, um, are, is, was, where. Bueno, le, se la voy a escribir acá para que la vean. Um, are, is, is, was, en pasado. Is, where. No, correcto. Estos son el auxiliar. Luego tenemos el do. El das uh -huh. y el did. El do y el das es el mismo. Pasado. El uh -huh. do y el das es el mismo. El did es el pasado. Ha pasado. Uh -huh. Y también tenemos para las formas perfectas have, has y has, has. pasado. Yo he, uh -huh. yo he corrido, tú has volado, ella, ella ha bebido, etcétera, etcétera. Pero el, el has y el has es para el presente, ¿verdad? No, es para el presente perfecto. Y de ahí el, tenemos el has. El, Mm -hmm. ella ha quiere decir, ella ha comido she has eaten, pero bueno ese es tema de otro más adelante el, más adelante will, should, could y muchos modos más, ok muy bien, entonces mm -hmm. para que usted entienda el concepto José Atilio en inglés no se usa la conjugación del verbo pero utilizan un auxiliar para determinar si usted está hablando en presente, en pasado, en futuro, ¿sí? En español mm. no usamos auxiliares, no usamos. Usamos en... el, el verbo en el tiempo. Que... Sí, dependiendo del tiempo, ajá, correcto. Ah. Pero el auxiliar, me refiero exclusivamente en este momento, para que me entienda, al auxiliar. Sí. Entonces, si se fijan, no traducimos el auxiliar. Por ejemplo, cuando digo, I don't eat. No digo, yo no hago no comer, no, no, no sé, no, no puedo traducirlo. Pues, ¿Por qué? Porque en español no existe la figura de un auxiliar. Lo que hacemos es la conjugación del verbo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero en inglés sí existe un auxiliar para indicarme en qué tiempo se está realizando la acción, si es afirmativa, si es negativo, si es primera persona, si es tercera persona. Ya, ¿Qué entonces... Es a mí, teacher, no me confunde tanto la pregunta como la respuesta corta, sino que más que todo en oraciones simples, donde se usa. Ajá, pero ahorita le estoy explicando el contexto. Ajá. Ajá. ¿Por qué usamos auxiliares y por qué usamos do and das? Vaya, ahorita uh -huh. vamos uh -huh. sobre el concepto. Y el do y el das, que es el mismo, ¿verdad? Se utiliza para el presente simple. ¿Le queda claro eso? Sí. Sí, vaya, muy bien. Ahora vamos a las oraciones. El, 
el tema es simple present, ¿verdad? Cuando hablamos uh -huh. de rutinas, cuando hablamos de algo que hacemos regularmente. Ese es el presente simple. Para describir lo que usted hace diariamente o semanalmente o mensualmente, ¿sí? Vaya. Y digo... Perdón, I eat apples. Yo como manzana. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Simple present. She eats oh. apples. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Entonces, acá usted está diciendo que como una rutina, yo como manzanas y ella come manzanas también, ¿verdad? Aquí uh -huh. podemos hacerle cambio, podemos decir in my house. Podemos usar un adverbio de frecuencia. I always, she always eats. She never. Y ya, uh -huh. o sea, podemos, podemos hacerle cambio, ¿verdad? Agregar adjetivos, etc. Pero básicamente es sujeto, I, verbo eat. Sujeto, uh -huh. sujeto she, verbo eat. Lo demás es complemento, ¿verdad? Ahora bien, ¿cómo saber yo que la oración está en negativo? Ah, para eso utilizo la palabra not y utilizo el auxiliar tú o das. ¿Está? En negativo, no en afirmativo, en negativo. Uh -huh. Cuando lo usamos, primero va el sujeto, ¿verdad? They. Luego el, el auxiliar do. La palabra not, que indica negatividad. They don't not run. Ellos no corren. ¿eh? Do not. ¿Ya? Uh -huh. El do significa que está, la acción está en presente. Y el not indica que esa oración de, en presente eh, es negativa. ¿eh? Es negativa. Correcto. Entonces, ahí es donde usamos el auxiliar. Mire. Y lo podemos hacer contractado también. Como decir, I don't run, o también podemos decir, no, solamente they don't run, perdón ellos no corren tercera persona, el does my brother, mm -hmm. por ejemplo mi hermano does not o contractado mm -hmm. swim él no nada ok muy bien, mm -hmm. entonces quiere decir que para las oraciones negativas es necesario el auxiliar do y das. Uh -huh. Y ve, vea la posición. Primero el sujeto, el auxiliar, luego not y luego el verbo. ¿Sí queda uh -huh. claro la posición? Sí. Sí, vale. Ahora vamos a preguntas. <risa> Primero comenzamos con el dube. Do you like cakes? Does he live in Cujucuyo? ¿Ya? Y contesto con el mismo auxiliar. Mire. Yes, I do. Que significa yes, I like, pero va sustituido por el auxiliar. O no. I do I not, o I don't. Uh -huh. ¿Eh? Ok, perfecto. Y en tercera persona, yes, yes. he does, he does. no, he does. He does. Va, muy bien, ahí estamos, Atilio, mire. Así es como se utiliza el auxiliar do y el das. Solo en oraciones negativas y en preguntas. ¿Ok? O sea que en una cuestión, en una acción simple, no, o sea, en una acción normal no puede ir el do. No, no, no puede ir. Cuando va en afirmativa no puede ir, a menos que sea negativa o pregunta. Ah, ok. Solo en oraciones negativas y en, en oraciones interrogativas se usa el do y el das. En cambio que en, en forma afirmativa... Es que aquí le puse presente simple, mire. Uh -huh. Y era 
era, aquí era, permítame, aquí era afirmativo, ¿eh? Uh -huh. Por eso lo confundí, eh, Atilio. Afírmate. Así era la cosa. En afirmativa no se usa el auxiliar. En negativa y pregunta sí se usa. O sea, no, puede, no, puede haber, no puede haber en ningún lugar ni una vez de que alguien diga, she does. She does y, y le, le voy a decir algo, pero por favor no se vaya a confundir, porque esta es una excepción de excepciones. ¿Sí? Ajá. Cuando yo quiero remarcar que algo así es, aunque me lo nieguen, entonces uh -huh. uso el auxiliar. Pero esa es una excepción de excepción. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, eh, yo le digo a usted, ¿verdad? Mire, a, a Tilio, usted no hizo la tarea. Of course, I, I do homework. Claro, teacher. Claro que yo hago tareas. I do homework. Uh -huh. I do homework. O uh, usted, perdón la, la, la broma, usted no se baña. Entonces, yo sí, mm -hmm. como no, claro que sí. I do take a shower. A shower. Mm -hmm. uh, es como para remarcar que usted sí de verdad lo hace. Entonces, ese es un. Y cuando. cuando esto yo se lo digo, pues, permítame. Esto uh -huh. se lo digo por si en un futuro. Usted diga, hey, el teacher me dijo que nunca se usaba. Y mire, aquí estoy viendo que sí se puede usar. Ajá. Era un mentiroso el teacher. Para que usted no diga eso, le pongo este ejemplo. Pero repito, esta es excepción de, así, excepciones. Excepciones. Normal, normalmente no se usa el auxiliar en las oraciones afirmativas. ¿Oye qué? Ahí te callado y punto. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. ¿Su, ¿Su pregunta? Vaya, por ejemplo, cuando yo digo... As hacer algo uh -huh. en una pregunta el primer do es al auxiliar y el segundo es el verbo es correcto sí estamos ah, por ejemplo, sí porque uno ve doble do en la, en correcto. la expresión ¿no? entonces es, es, igual que el has es, significa tener y también se usa como auxiliar yo he uh -huh. o ella ha, etcétera etcétera así es el do Así a mí hay otro, hay otros verbos que como son bien amplios, como el get, que me confunden ah, con la. Pero eso, eso yo sé otro. que todavía. Sí, no. El Igual get es... tiene varios significados: obtener, comprar, lograr, eh, conquistar. Igual así, por ejemplo, como el ain't. Ese es un, es un modismo, es un. ¿Verdad que eso? Yo sí. en canciones así de raperos es que le No visto, es correcta, ¿verdad? no es correcta. Ajá. Pero ellos lo usan a diario. Es como no es decir perate, es incorrecto. Pero lo usamos. <risa> ¿Verdad? Y así por ejemplo, sí. go, Gona, Guana, eso sí es, También es usado. Se usa, pero, pero, pero gramaticalmente no es correcto. No es correcto, ¿verdad? Sí, pero usted sabe que en la vida real es otro pisto, güey. En la vida real se usa... Sí, porque usted escucha a un americano y dice guana, guana. Sí, correcto. Guana, go. Es que es igual que nosotros, José Atilo. Nosotros uh -huh. sabemos cuál es el lenguaje, pero en la vida real no lo hablamos. Así como no, porque... un libro, ¿verdad? Usted no habla como un libro. <ríe> usted habla de... Sí, la verdad que yo he tenido la oportunidad de trabajar con español en un proyecto que estuve de unos una planta fotovoltaica y, y, y sí me quedaba admirado porque una vez un policía, un soldado nos pidió ride, ¿verdad? Íbamos para un proyecto y me dijo el español, ¿le entendiste? Sí, le digo, pero es que no habla como vos. Sí habla como... Pero, pero es cierto, este, hay que saber pronunciar bien las palabras porque hay cosas que, por ejemplo, te da risa cuando yo decía trabazón, ¿va? o en vez de tráfico decía trabazón. <ríe> Entonces me decían, pero eso es por estar trabado, pues sí, le, por eso le dimos trabazón o tráfico, <risa> pues ellos solo usan tráfico. ¿verdad? Es correcto, sí, entonces, entonces el lenguaje es amplio, ¿verdad? Sí, igual un primo que acaba de venir luego, como él nació allá, bueno, nació allá, ella creció, y le digo yo laptop, pero ellos le hacen más pronunciación a la peba, laptop, me dio, pero dice que no me entendía al principio. Laptop, ah, no, no. Ah. No se, no se oye la P, laptop. Ajá, ajá. Entonces, sí. nosotros vemos laptop y, y ellos dicen laptop. Ajá, entonces. Es como la pizza. No me... Nosotros decimos ah. pizza y, el, y en inglés pizza. Ajá. 
Sí, Entonces ya aunque, aunque uno le, le cambie algo, ya no le entienden. Es correcto. Bueno, José Atilio, ha sido un placer. Entonces nos alargamos un poquito más, ¿verdad? Pero Mire, voy a ver más. en el video lo, lo que le pregunté, porque al final aquí se me fue la luz. No hay problema. Y, y ya no, no pude. Ya, ya, lo voy a, ver lo que ya lo voy a subir al listado de, de YouTube. Ah, no, no me preocupe, de todos modos lo puedo ver. Eh, la tarea de ahora es la 14, ¿verdad? La 14, sí. Bueno, yo ayer me adelanté, la hice como que Perfecto, sí. Perfecto, excelente. Ajá. Y el lunes lo revisamos todos, si le parece. Vaya, bueno, muchas gracias, Peter. It's a pleasure. Pase feliz fin de semana. You bueno, too, gracias. Bye, bye.